Alright. This is a video that I've been wanting to make for a very, very long time. Hello everybody and welcome to another video on this here channel. If you're looking at the scope description, you can already tell that this topic of this video is going to be about my last year, well past year I should say, at university. So as some of you might already know, but if you've watched some of my older videos, uh, well, namely the one I did like maybe a month ago now about Dance Showcase, um, this year has been a bit of a different year for me, it wasn't a full year university. Um, this year I had to do a reset year um, due to failing two modules which meant I had to reset a year. Reset well those two modules in particular. Um, which kind of sucked because I had one in the first semester and one in the second semester. Uh, so that literally meant I was in once a week. Um, which was boring as sin really, it, was, it wasn't great. Um, and not only that, but I was, it put me in a really, really bad place. Uh, I was pretty depressed about um, my friends moving on to third year, getting to graduate this year, and going off and doing whatever they're going to do. And normally that's a normal thing, right? But for me, in the situation I was in, since I was not going forward as well, it wasn't a, we weren't marching, marching forward as a unit. It was like, they were moving forward, I was getting left behind, and I just felt terrible. Um, but you know, um, after a while, my parents were like, yo, you need some structure in your life, get some hobbies, get some other activities. And then, as you may know, I joined the dance team. Um, one of the best things that I chose to do, and my parents put me, put me forward to do, because I made some great friends, made some great people. I opened myself to a new skill, opened myself to a whole new world of possibilities. Um, like, I never would have, well, I danced normally, but I never would have wanted to pursue it so much as I want to do now, um, and go forward and take more classes and develop my skills in the area. And it, it was great, um, because during the time span I was at my dance, with my dance team, I managed to forge loads of friendships, um, go on and have many great experiences. Like, I would have never performed on stage if I didn't join the dance team. I, I had a chance to perform, what, twice during the year? Like. One was at the Manchester competition, uh, which was oh, a blast, an absolute blast. Um, and then once at the Dance Showcase, which was a couple of weeks ago. Um, performing on stage is amazing. There is like no other feeling like it. There, you, you're putting in weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks of practice to get your routine or whatever you're doing down to a T. And then when that moment comes and you are ready to go up on stage, there's no nerves until you are literally side of stage. You can see the crowds just like peeking around and he was like, uh, nerves everywhere. But you know, one thing that really made it better was like my <laughs> dance team, uh, me and my buddy Yasin were, were in the wings because we were a unit doing our, it was, it was our routine and then the rest of my team were just in the stands cheering DVG. was what we called our, our dance uh, duo and just chanting, chanting. It was just the most amazing feeling. And then hearing the music that Yasin put together, knowing what I needed to do, putting it all together on stage, bang, bang, bang. <laughs> The feeling was amazing. Um, it was just a rush of performance energy, uh, and then the energy I was getting back from people, and the support and the love I was getting from my team, and then people cheering at moments, and just loving the feeling that we were giving them, and it was just an amazing thing. Uh, and it's really hard to put into words, but I hope that kind of gave you a little flavor to it. And then, after that, I went to another, um, competition with my dance team and that one I wasn't performing but it was just a matter of me showing my support for them because for me personally they had been there f with for me when I was at a really low point and it was they helped me through a low point when I was just giving back I was like yo you might not be going through a low point but I'm going to be here for you I am part of your team I am one of you we are going to step through this as a family as a group you know so I was there to just 
feed their energy, make sure they were cool, everyone's spirits were high, and you know, it was it was great because I got to see the routines, which I, I love watching my team perform, and I've already said thousands of thousands of thousands of times, I love the hip rope routine. Oh, I, I won't say anymore about that, but you know I love that, and girls, you know I love you. Um, it was just an amazing thing, and then on top of that, I another experience I never would have done, I would have never gone to Spain. Uh, there was a thing called Tour, which is all the um, sports teams go away on holiday for a week to Spain, and I would never would have done that. I would never had a chance to get, where is it? My Legend of Zelda hat, this jacket, um, just spend a week away in a foreign country and just enjoy myself. I would not have the opportunity if I didn't join the dance team, I didn't have this year out. Um, and it just really shows that sometimes just because you're getting set back doesn't mean it's a negative thing. Maybe it's just where you need to be to reevaluate your life. Because this year had made me change my mindset a lot. Like, I was very set on where I needed to go. Um, and I think that's part of the reason why I was so depressed about it. Like, I had my 10 year plan for when I was in college, you know, to go and be a barrister. And I, it'll take me 10 years to do this X, Y, and Z. If I do X, 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 hit all these marks, I'll be good. I'll be gone. Done. Perfect. I missed one of my marks and it, put, it threw me for a loop. And I think that really told me a lot about life that, you know, you're not always going to get what you want. It's not always going to be your 10 point plan. It's not going to be always perfect because you're going to sometimes you have to go A, B, C, B, C. You can't just go A, B, C, D all the time. You're going to have to backtrack at some point in time. <sighs> I digress. Back to the main point. Um, following on from that, it was. I had another experience when we went to um, the AU Awards, which was a night where everyone got dressed up in their finest uh, and went out and had a meal, and it was the Athletics Union um, celebrating the achievements that the teams and team individuals, members, committee members had achieved. Um, you know, our team, I don't think we walked away with anything, but it was the case of just enjoying the atmosphere, not just as a, a dance team, but as Team Derby, you know, that the, the wider t Derby family. It was just great to just be there and just like support. Again, it's a support thing. It's not even about winning things. It's just showing love and just having a great night out because that showed me that I had people there now that I could have friendships with into my third year. And that was one of my biggest fears. Like, I knew nobody in the second year, like in the year below me. I knew one or two people that I worked with, but that was about it. But having this year back and gave me a chance to kind of find network with more people make some new friends and then just have this core group of people that were just going to be there and we we're just gonna hang out and chat and be cool with and that was perfect for me um, and then the final final thing was showcase um, I've already done my video on that and how great it was just to kind of present uh, for the girls and just show off our routines to everybody. I've already done my video on that so I won't gush so much but again, dance team, Derby dance team, I love you guys to no end, like immensely. I love you so much. Thank you for giving me a great year. You will definitely be seeing me next year for all those who are leaving. I will miss you dearly and for those of you who are staying. I'll see you soon and for those of you who are coming. Hey, you got to meet some great people. Not just me, I mean, I'm talking about the rest of the people that are on this dance team. They are truly wonderful people. Um, but yeah, that really was my year. It was just something that turned, that was very, very negative for me. Just turned into this amazing positive. Because now I'm taking dance classes during the summer. I'm getting better at it, um, slowly but surely, but I'm getting better. So. You know, you know, no, might be seeing me on some more competitions, more dance videos, you know, that kind of thing. And also, I'm opening my mind to more fitness things. Um, but the main thing that I, what I, like, this whole year had led up to is me passing both of those failed modules, which was an amazing feeling. I was so happy when I saw, oh, uh, criminal pass, EU trade pass. I was overjoyed. Um, that just made. That is just the icing on the cake because I've gone through the year, had my trip up, I've made some great friends, opened some new skills, and now I can go into my third year and just do it like I normally would. And yeah, it's perfect. So, you know, again, main point 
just because you have a setback doesn't mean that is the end of the world. Uh, you're just going to take a little bit longer to your destination and you will also get there and who knows, you might get some extra benefits from it. Right? So, yeah. Thank you for listening to this um, short run. This is a condensed version of something I typed out. So if you want to check that out, I'll, I'll drop it in the description. If you're looking at my Facebook page, I'll drop it in the uh, post and you can read all of that if you wish. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you for watching my video of my gushing. Uh, this has been my past year. Hopefully next year will be even bigger and better. It's the big leagues now, boys. There's no turning back. It's now or never. Do or die. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening. Love your faces. See you soon. Uh...